So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Google My Maps to build a map that can be exported to a mobile device and used for navigating. So this particular map that I built here is of Vietnam and it's a very remote camping based trip. It's like to be five days from Dalat up to around Pleiku. And a lot of the lines drawn here have been done manually because the roads don't exist uh, on the map at all. So the very first starting thing you need to do is obviously load up my maps just click on here then new map and you're going to be on a screen roughly like this but obviously a blank sheet so the next thing you need to do is just put in your general direction of where you're going so in my case dalat and it was originally going to be heading towards queen Yong. so we put in a general line uh, just a normal navigation and then from there you can start to sort of zoom in on your original line and you can look for little gems like this and as you get closer and closer and you build more and more lines, uh, you might start to find that your route begins to shift. So we started with the concept of going out here. But as we got deeper and deeper into the mapping process, we actually ended up going more over to the left hand side. So how do you begin actually drawing these lines? So the first thing I'm going to do is zoom into a place where I believe uh, I could benefit from some new lines. And that is out here start zooming in now my main worry with this is it's looking really remote and there is a chance uh, that this little road here is going to be blocked so i'd quite like to find an alternative backup plan so we can get to one of these two roads up there so what i'm going to do is just start drawing in or putting in these waypoints like so uh, one there Let's put them in because the nice thing here is you can sort of zoom around jump around a bit uh, and move the map freely but once you get into the drawing line process uh, it gets very slow and difficult to move around and see where you're at so that's pretty much done i found myself a way of going around here and now i've just got to draw it in now this is a slow and boring task but you just got to put on some music and sort of just enjoy the process of doing it. And once you get out there on the road, knowing how long it took you to draw these stupid little lines, it's just gonna make the experience better. So now it is worth considering that you do need to be as accurate as you possibly can on these lines, because once you export this into an application like maps.me, you're basically just going to be following a line. There's gonna be no context in terms of pictures, where's the rivers, where's the nearest town, it's just you and a line so if you find yourself sort of drifting away from this line it can be disorientating and can cause you to sort of second guess your original direction now the problem is especially on t-junctions like this if i draw the line inaccurately it could have sent me off in real life up here and it can take an awful long time to figure out that we've gone in the completely wrong direction so it is worth spending the time to be as accurate as you possibly can and once you get bored of doing this you just hit enter save it give yourself a color go with blue and make it nice and wide that does impact uh, the import so on your other application you're likely to have a wider line so it is worth making them wider once you're all done and happy you can then go in through and delete all of your little waypoints so it is a slow progress, a slow process, but eventually it gets you there and it's gonna give you the best trip possible. Now what I've also done uh, here is I've started to color code uh, items. So our main route is going to be uh, in purple. That's the plan A route. Uh, there's still some debating to be done about which direction we head in here. Uh, and then what you'll start to see, so the orange is a backup plan. So if the original purple doesn't work out, we have an alternative to do. Because once you get out there and you find a road's blocked or it's not possible, you're going to want a backup plan. So it's worth putting in all the options you can. And then in brown, what we have is the nearest bailout point. So this is when things go wrong. Like the brown line is going to be the quickest way to get us back to civilization. And you can see I've really put them all in. This is a very, very, very remote route. So I've been super careful, but I put in loads and loads and loads of options uh, for bailouts wherever I possibly can. 
Uh, these little markers here are gas stations. So we're gonna be on dual sport bikes. Uh, and there are certainly sections where we're gonna to need to carry extra gas or at least bail out and get some more gas. So that's what you're seeing there. So that's the slow way of building maps, but generally for most people, you're not gonna to need to go in there drawing all, line, all these little lines like that. You can get pretty remote or very remote just following what Google already has. So if we look here in uh, satellite view, it's looking pretty empty out here above Baulock City. Uh, switch over to normal maps, it's still looking nice and empty. Zoom in a bunch, it's still looking nice and empty. Uh, go over to Simple Atlas and you can see there is a web of roads going on out here. Very, very easy, just add a driving route and you can whack in a line. It's such a simple way of building awesome, awesome trails. So yeah, that's a quick way of doing it if you don't want to go down the process of really remote stuff and drawing lines manually. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is how to store your map. So Google My Maps by default doesn't have a search function, which is pretty annoying. There's no search in here. So what I do is I store all of my stuff on Google uh, Sheets. So if it's a, a map that's live on our, on our website, it goes up here. If it's a sort of research route or a live data route, what I mean uh, by live data is it's, it's a route that I've actually uh, done before. So if we have a look at this one, I would have recorded this live with a geo tracker. So this is GPS, uh, then exported it and then imported it into my map. So this is absolute accuracy uh, to the maximum level. If it's just general research, uh, then I'll put that in here. Let's have a quick look. Interesting mapping done a long time ago. Let's see what that is. So you get the idea, this is just general research. So now if I want to pull in a GPS trail of something that I've done before into this, and what you can actually see, I have done that. So this pink line is me doing this before, but this add on red line is me drawing it in. So I've not done this section before, but anyway, let's import another map import, select, uh, let's go with for show, I think it is. So it's bringing it in. So when you're out there on the road, you choose an app for recording your GPS. I personally go with GeoTracker, but find whatever works for you. Then you can export it off your mobile device and then bring it into here. So what we're seeing here is a, a route that I previously done before. So if I was gonna start in Wiener, I would have followed this because I know it's a good trail. Uh, but in this case, I'm not going to. So then moving on to the process of how to export a map like this. Very simple, you just go file, uh, export to KML or KMZ, hit that button, download it, email it to yourself, and then on your mobile device, you load up whatever app you happen to be using and you import it into it. Now, Google Maps is great, but the problem is when you lose signal, if you have a map like this up on your mobile device and you lose signal, the entire map just basically disappears. So you find yourself with no map at all and you can't get that map back until you come back into a location of signal. So the, map, uh, the mapping app I go for when I'm out there on the road is maps.me but that application has absolutely no detail on it. So basically I'm just following a single line when you're out there. But that's basically it. With uh, Google My Maps, you can build incredibly detailed maps. Uh, you just set out there in the evening, put on some music uh, and get drawing. Oh, I'll come in with one more piece of advice. What you're seeing here with these weird uh, teaspoon signals <laughs> is areas where I am guessing. So that's where I believe the road is, should be connecting, but I can't see it. So again, when we're out there with the crew driving around and I start to see these signals, I know to sort of take my mapping uh, with a pinch of salt, basically we just wanna head in a direction. It doesn't matter which road we're gonna take. 
So you can see that it's another reason why on this particular trip we've decided to sort of head more um, west than we were originally going to go for. This purple has ended up being our primary route because we found this central route had so much uh, guesswork in it. And you can sort of see that when you start to label out the guesswork. Uh, this is me just marking in that perhaps there's a boat there, uh, thrown in a couple of uh, hotel options on the way is another random boat out there. And yeah, once you get out there, the more detail you do this, the better your drive's gonna be.